174. <coughs> okay. All right, so we're on. Where do the questions come? Well, what, the questions will come up on the side here or what? One second. No, we don't have a chat box at this point. Oh, okay, oh. sorry. Yeah, now we're done. Okay, we're good. That does, that's not... Okay, there we go. All right, cool. All right, sounds good. <clears throat> Bye. So we're live? Apparently so. What's up, Stoke Meter? What's Thanks up? everyone for tuning in. How how is there this much of a delay? I don't know, maybe they can't see the delay. Probably not. You're live. Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> what? For the next season, I'm from Ottawa. I'm from Toronto. Ottawa's close to where I'm from. Saskatchewan. <laughs> uh, when I used to try to weather the winters back <clears throat> at home, I uh, did a lot of snowboarding. Um, I also went to this like trampoline gym that was near where I was from, and they let me tie a rope to the wall and practice bouncing on the trampoline inside and mess around going to the foam pit. But I read a lot of wakeboard magazine and watched a lot of videos and prayed for warm weather. I'm stoked you're picking up your new X-Star, man. I uh, actually just ordered mine. I got mine coming possibly November 11th with my new wrap and everything. So really excited for that. Congrats on yours. Oh, do we ride against each other in Canada? Uh, the first time I actually met Russ was um, at the Canadian Nationals. I don't even know what year it was. I don't either. I don't uh, know. But, yeah, so that's the first time I met him. So, yeah, we rode together or rode against each other in a few uh, – of the Canadian Nationals. That's way back in the day, though. What's your rap look like back then? That's cool. My rap, it, it, it's really close to my board graphic for this year. They kind of all tie in together, and I'm really excited about it. It looks really sick. So if you've seen my new board, it's, uh, it's a lot like that, red, black, and uh, light gray. <clears throat> Want to know this guy? Want to know where we got my shirt? Uh, I ride for O'Neill, so this shirt uh, showed up at my doorstep in a wicked box. Thank you, <laughs> O'Neill. Um, they're awesome clothing. O'Neill's a great sponsor to have clothes show up on your door. What's well, new with Merrick this year? The kid or the board? <laughs> uh, the board. <laughs> yeah. The, the real Merrick's crazy right now running around inside the house, but the board has a track system, which... Uh, lightened it up a little bit and it feels much more responsive so it's uh, actually changed <clears throat> changed the way the board rides a little bit and I'm loving it. It uh, opens your stance up up to an inch and a half on each binding so it's uh, you know it's if you want to get wider you can now or you know get to where you weren't able to get before. Uh, someone asked what board am I riding right now? Um, I'm riding my pro model from Gator it's called the Prospect um, and I also got a pro boot that matches the graphic, the colorways are the same, it's called the Fate Binding. 
Um, you can check it out at GatorWars.com. It's, it's on there. And there's pictures of it and the description of it. Check it out. Okay, so hi, babe. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <clears throat> Sounds sick. <laughs> this guy asked, why didn't you put a maple leaf wrap on your boat? <laughs> um, good question. Next year, maple leaf wrap for sure. Yeah, JJ, the prospect does have six Thanks, colors. Man. I'm a, I like bright colors and stuff. I think it looks good on the water. It looks cool in photos, and I'm glad you like it too. Some people don't like bright colors, but I, I'm into it. Yeah, the 1080 at Reno was uh, was unbelievable. I couldn't, uh, you know, I can't really explain the feeling I got when I find well when I landed it. It's something that I'd been hitting consistently. Kyle, uh, Kyle and me ride a lot, and you know, coming up to Reno had uh, pretty much had him. Russ would know, go down the lake. I'll paint a picture. Russ would go down the lake and do a line, come the other way to do a second pass, call right for a left, and I'd <laughs> drive him a left, and he did a 10. He probably did it four or five days in a row. Like, yeah. first try, was, it was crazy. If, if anyone was going to throw it down, it was Russ. He was more than ready to to be the first one to make it happen. Yeah, it was um, It was pretty awesome. I was ready for that. I, uh, you know, I knew... Just given the right circumstance, calm water, and Travis lined that double up perfect, I knew I could do it, and, you know, everything came together that day, and I was, you know, I made it happen, I was really pumped to be the first yeah. to do that. That guy was asking who drove your tent. Uh, Travis, Travis drove that thing. Travis Moy, he, he drives for the Pro Tour, and drives Worlds, and Nationals, and all the main events, and, yeah, he was, uh, he was pretty pumped as well, so I'm glad we bo both got to, uh, to... See, this guy that. said <clears throat> the, face, the look on your face was crazy. When I watched that footage of Russ Land, that tent, I don't know if you guys watched the Ultimate Fighter or not, but whenever Chuck Liddell wins a fight and like <laughs> screams and yells, it's exactly what I, I thought Russ was like. It's funny. <clears throat> your eyes are much better than mine. It like takes me. Dan O'Donohue. Yeah, I know Dan O'Donohue. He's from uh, back where I'm from. We used to hang out a lot when I had a camp back at home and rode up to Muskoka and stuff. What's up, Dan? Quentin! <clears throat> Dog chewing my pool table. It's not cool. Oh, this guy landed his first three at the camp. That's awesome. I actually pulled a guy today that was uh -huh. on toe threes for the first time. Hey. It's, it's cool you landed. It's a good time <laughs> call, to go to the camp. It's been so hot right now. Call cell. <laughs> but, <clears throat> Are all uh, Canadians into the MMA? I, I would don't say. Know. I am. I think it's cool. It's the second best sport to wakeboarding. Quentin, come here. Come here. <laughs> Quentin, you're on the internet. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Chuck Liddell, for sure, is my all-time favorite UFC fighter, no question. I'm the wakeboarder with a big dog. Russ has a big dog and the smallest dog I've ever seen. He's got a little chihuahua, too. Where's Merrick? Merrick, come here. Bring him over here. Come here. Come here. Okay. <laughs> Who's that? This is Daddy. How can we Merrick at? It's a delay. A delay. Uh, Merrick, can you give him a high five? Bye. Merrick, good you. <laughs> Mommy. Give the computer a kiss. Give yourself a kiss. Yeah. You are Yeah. Okay, bye, buddy. Hold on, I want to see what they said. Hey, get him. Get him. Man, get him. That? He's hanging. This guy was asking if, he's, if he can wakeboard yet. He, he can't wakeboard yet. He's, uh... <laughs> He's he's not quite ready for that, but um, soon I think I think we'll get him out there and let him mess around a little bit, get him on the wake surfer, and <clears throat> he's okay. really upset that we took him away from here. Yeah, he's bent. <laughs> Look, remember when that guy, when Gray fought? We saw his hype right thing. That guy saw. It. Yeah, it was really cool. Gray did that. Gray did that for us just because we become really good friends with him, and he's uh, really into wakeboarding and. You know, it's uh, it's really cool that he loves wakeboarding as much as he does, and you know, I I follow their sport as much as he follows ours, so it's pretty awesome.
Are we missing questions? I got better eyes than Russ, I guess. A lot be. better. <laughs> what would happen? Russ, when's the last time you're in Humboldt? Um, when were we there? there? Probably. July. Yeah. Right in, we, were we went to Saskatoon for this uh, charity event, wakeboarding event, and then I cruised home one night, so July was the last time I was in Humboldt. How is your bro is he going to race snow cross this year? Yeah, he just signed with Blair, so he'll be uh, he'll be on a new team this year. If you get the X Games again, and um, yeah, everything's going well for him. Think Gray will fight BJ? Uh, it won't be for a little while, but hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully soon, maybe. He's got a he's got a, a long uh, row in front of him for sure. Would you ever ride in Ireland? I would definitely come ride in Ireland. I saw a trip that the Alliance guys did with Trevor Hansen and Ben and Reed, and it looked like a pretty cool place, and they had nothing but good things to say, but I'd love to come over there and, and do anything. Yeah, there have been the Greece George. That's George at the camp. <laughs> I will go to Greece George when you invite me over there. <laughs> George, send us over. George came all the way out to that contest on the weekend just to watch you do a 1080 and you did one. That's awesome. Thanks for coming. I'm all the way from Greece to watch that. <laughs> Get back to Toronto, right? Eh? Uh, James, yeah, I go back and ride as much as I can. In the summertime, it's pretty busy, and the season up in Muskoka is pretty short, so it's hard to squeeze in a couple extra days. But I miss riding up there. It was just a cool, cool to go visit. And I have lots of old friends that I like to go touch base with and stuff, but not I try to make it back. Short. Not what? Not Saskatchewan short. No, not as short as that. It's difficult. Mary, come here. Uh, come I haven't here. played hockey in a while. I actually hurt my knee. Um, it's coming up on two years ago, but I haven't played hockey since I, I hurt my knee. I've been actually thinking to get back out there. Chad, uh, Chad Sharp has a team that I used to play on, and I'll probably do to go out there and play again. It's been Definitely. A while. Um, there's quite a bit of weight in the boat. I don't know exactly how much is in there, but there's um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fat sacks, and then some lead and sand uh, cans throughout the boat. So I don't know. There's probably pushing upwards. Five um, thousand, maybe something like that. Yeah. Oh. When did you start wakeboarding? Uh, I started when I was like 15, probably. Yeah, I was about the same. My family had a cottage like, back in Muskoka. And we used to water ski and tube and kneeboard and stuff, and the wakeboard was kind of a progression from that. How long does it take to plane off? I actually got a really uh, sick prop from OJ that uh, helped that out a lot. and It's probably anywhere at about mm, 10... 10, 12 seconds yeah, to get on a plane? Yeah. Yep. Hey, who's ever in Ireland? We're coming. You call us, invite us. We're there for sure. Ireland. We're already we're there. We're Who accepting the invite been? officially. Did you go home for Thanksgiving? I did. I, uh, me and my fiance Katie went home for Thanksgiving. I've been going to my cottage every year for Thanksgiving. I'm 24, so it's a lot of years, and I've never seen snow. And the one time... <laughs> I take my fiance from Florida. It was freezing. It was cold. It actually snowed. I did not. <laughs> uh, North Bay? No, I never. I've made it up that far. North Bay is pretty far from where I am. I think that's like a six, seven hour drive. Um, I've heard it's cool. I have a friend, Justin, that has a cottage up in, uh, up in North Bay. I've seen pictures. Well, it's cool. I never made it that far, though. Thousand Islands. I don't think I know where that is. Is that in North Bay? Saskatchewan. Oh, it says Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have you guys been wakeboarding? Ten years, for sure now, for me. Well, 15, nine years, yeah. About nine years. What is this one about the X-Star? Take up. Hey, this guy thinks your old lady is a stone-cold fox.
Ja, yeah, she is a stone cold bug. <clears throat> Where does it say that? Oh yeah, she is a stone cold bug. Rough Riders. What else would you expect? Yeah, Rough Riders. Oh, is that the CFL team? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just haven't heard that in a long time. Or the Pats. Is that Rough the, Riders, man. Who's the Pats? Who cares? Is the hockey team? It's hot out here. It's not bad. How you been? Keep coming to the States anytime soon. I don't know if that's for us. We live in the States. Rusty, Rusty what? what is a good prop for playing the way? That new prop. Um, the one that comes on the XR is a 14, 14, 2, 5. Um, and that's really good. That works great. Uh, JW, yeah, there's a few new vests um, they added to the line. There's a couple of different comp vests. There's uh, like a pullover one with a side zip. And it's got this like crazy rubber on the inside when it gets wet. It like kind of slides on your skin. Um, but they're all on O'Neill.com if you go check them out. They're awesome vests. They're, I would ride them if I didn't ride for O'Neill. Um, but yeah, it's worth doing and looking at. How much Rockstar are you drinking today? So many. Especially my in, can is like official especially in the past two years with uh, with my son, <laughs> less sleep, so I definitely drink a lot more. <laughs> Who are your favorite snowboarders? My favorite snowboarder is Devin Walsh. I think he's he's been my favorite since I was a little kid. My favorite snowboarder is Tino Santori. Oh yeah, that's also a good one. Nick Ennis, Mike Ennis, good snowboarders as well. My new vest should be out. Um, really soon actually just a straight center zip no more blowing the side out so i like it a lot 12s 12 60s i was actually riding with danny today and we were both trying some he was much closer than i was but um you know hopefully hopefully soon 12 what's up from bala 12 the 12 to go used to be my uh, spot bala Kyle, gonna try any tens? I've been trying to land some nines. <laughs> I'm I'm far away off from trying any tens. Right on the most. Uh, Rusty's X Star is what we ride on the most. It's it's on our lake. Um, I don't currently have a boat at this moment, um, so I've been bumming off Rust for the last couple of years. But uh, I've never ridden a bigger wake than that, so I'm pretty spoiled with uh, the wake that I get to ride every day. Double flips. Um, you know, it seems to be like a lot of guys are trying them. Um, back in the day, I, I landed a uh, double half cap, so I'm pumped on that. And, you know, if I have to, I'll, I'll start firing up a few double flips. This guy wants to know when your wake place feature is coming out. You've been filming for over two years. Um, well, unfortunately, the busier John gets from wake place, the less time we get to film, so... Pretty much every time I talk to him, there's a couple of new things I want to I want to add to that. So I don't know. Hopefully, um, actually, we we talked just yesterday, and we plan on um, shooting next week. So hopefully, within uh, a couple weeks. What do you do in the off season? Um, I used to dirt bike. I took up dirt biking when I lived here with Russ, but my dirt bike blew up. I enjoy a cold a cold uh, beverage from time to time. Hmm. But now I just, I've been road biking a lot. We found some cool uh, road bike trails. Been riding my road bike a lot with Russ and Trevor Hansen. Boom. Oh, I remember this. What? This guy's telling me that I hit this sketchy pool rail setup near the wharf. I remember that. That was really sketchy. They built this janky pool. It was like Trevor Hansen. three and a half feet wide with a sketchy rail. That was sketchy, I remember that. Yeah, that's right, it's me. It might not be Trevor. There's a lot of imposters. There's a lot of Trevors. We should give him a test. Like, what would Trevor know that only Trevor? Trevor, what time did you come to my house this morning? That's a good question. I got I got a couple movies coming out. The Body Glove Team video. And I'm going to be in Ronnie Romero's new video. Um, I've been talking with John, the Wake Place guy. We, he's got a bunch of footage, and I think I'm going to do a little section with him. And I've been trying to hit up Ronnie as well and trying to get a spot on his next video when it comes out. But I've only been filming with John from the Wake Place a little bit. 
you read those big ones. You yeah, that's not like to us, I don't think. Hmm. That's confusing. Please don't do that. <laughs> you think the no grab Devin Walskies will come into wakeboarding? I don't know, because that dude does some big drops and can float a lot better than, or float a lot longer than you can on a wakeboard. It could be possible, like maybe some of that shifty spinning or, or whatnot. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to, um, uh, that's what we were actually filming for today. I'm going to have, uh, you know, some stuff in there with Danny. So, um, we've been working, working pretty hard on it pretty consistently. So I'm pumped to be a part of that. Uh, Matt, yeah, Moby Dick is a definitely a cool trick. Um, I learned a lot of my stuff on the trampoline before I go try it on the water just to, to try to get some kind of air awareness to know, like, what you're doing or how you're flipping and stuff like that. But a good way to work up to a Moby Dick is, a uh, you could do like a handle pass change on the blind, kind of to just kind of get yourself feeling that motion a little bit. But I'd say try the trampoline first. You guys like traveling? I mean, I enjoy the traveling. Um, we just went to China, and that was pretty. Uh, that was a pretty aggressive flight. It was uh, like almost what was it? Four, almost four, forty hours door to door. To China? Yeah. Yeah, it was like 41 hours. Yeah, brutal. 40 hours from door to door. So it was not was... like 40 hours, like nice sitting. It was like 40 hours with like me and Russ and Trevor like this. At one point, on the way there, we got lucky and got four seats to ourselves. Mm -hmm. I slept on the floor in front of the row. Russ slept on the seat, and Trevor slept on the floor behind the row. Mm -hmm. So it was a long 40 hours. Toughest thing about being a pro headquarter is... There's nothing that's really super tough about it. I mean, I think we're all super fortunate to get to do what we do, but I mean, sometimes the traveling does kind of take its toll on you, but that's really nothing to complain about. The only thing I'd say is tough is like, if you're real sore from riding hard, sometimes getting up in the morning or getting going sometimes happens a little slow, but that's when white can't happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see, I think Rome footage makes a rail look fun. What could you what could you learn to ride Oh, could you learn to ride finless off the wake? That'd be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean my board's got one point oh fins on it, so it it works really, really good for, you know, off the wake, but I think that'd kinda of be like a personal question. Like yeah. some people like looser boards. I like like Russ, I have big fins on my board. Um I I think that's a personal preference kind of question. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see a limit to the tricks in the future? No way, I don't. I think in the last like two years, the stuff that's been learned and the different axes that people are spinning on, and now doubles are starting to be fairly common. Tens are getting hit by more people. Twelves are happening. Yeah. I think like the boats are getting bigger, the wakes are getting bigger, people are getting better, boards are getting better. I don't think it's anywhere near seen how good it's going to be, especially when there's like little kids like Harley Clifford and Bob and those kids that come out of nowhere and just kill it. Like, I think we are not even seen close to yet what wakeboarding is going to get to. Uh, someone asked me about P90X. <laughs> P90X has come to a drastic halt. P90X is a... Uh, well, I still... Do, if I still P90X do it, is, it should be P... 90-10. No, <laughs> P3X. <laughs> yeah. Three days. <laughs> No, I still do that. I have one. I do. I haven't gone to the gym, though. I've, I've been better. My fiance has been making me go to the gym. She's on a mission. Quit um, sucking up to your old lady. Well, she's the one that makes me go. <laughs> you Molson go because you, Molson, you, go think, cause you think you're fat. I know. I go uh, to season too many uh, takeouts. <laughs> Someone asked you, Molson or Miller. Uh, Miller. Molson. <laughs> oh, Katie said hi to you. Hi, Katie. Is that really Katie? That's, yeah, of course it's Katie. Should we test her too? Did Trev yeah. ever... Trev didn't write back. If that's really Katie, what did I leave for you on the um, bathroom counter before I came here? No, show me the link. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> what was the most difficult trick to learn? Whirly bird. 
I've been trying to learn that Whirlybird. Off axis, weird toe side, back side five, and I can't even get close to save my life. That's Quentin! Don't! Oh, the Moys. They said they were going to bed because Ella went to sleep, and look, they stayed up just for us. Thanks, Moyes. Trav, they were talking about you on here driving that perfect 10 double up in Reno. We gave you a shout out. I don't like the delay one bit. Why don't you see I don't watch it? As if you're not watching it. I'm trying to read all these things. They're so fast. <laughs> you're a better reader than I am, so you read. Who is Quentin? Quentin's Russ's dog. Quentin's a dog, the annoying dog. Wake to wake tens. Steel hit one. Not for a fat boy like me. <laughs> he should do P90X. Maybe then you can do wake to wake tens. Hey, my mom. Oh, um, no way. Hi, Mrs. Rattray. Spins it out. Hold out the front. What? How can you do spins with that? I get pulled out the front a lot. If you get pulled out the front a lot on your spins, uh, you're probably letting go of the handle too early. If you let go of the handle on your way up, the uh, the boat will pull you kind of crooked in the air. You might get the spin around, but you might end up on your head too. So try to spin at the peak of your jump and spin a little bit more with your hips. But that's about as much as I can give you just after, after reading that. <laughs> What's your favorite grab? What's your favorite grab, Kyle? I like doing a method grab. Kyle does a good method grab. Kyle's, Kyle's good at that. Oh yeah, sorry Trev. I should have like broken my sentence up maybe. Oh, John and Wiss and Abby are on. Hi. What's up? Hi. Hey. Yo dudes. I'm sweating. I was riding for Gator, Riri. I love riding for Gator. Um, riding for Gator has been awesome for me. I've gotten to do lots of things that probably would have taken a lot longer time on other companies. Like, I got to design my own pro model from scratch. I got to design my own boot from scratch. And ever since I was a little kid, I wanted my name on a board. I thought that was one of the coolest things ever. Um, so riding for Gator gave me that opportunity. And there's big things happening to Gator right now. And a couple things are changing. And Gator's definitely not going under. Um, <laughs> that's been a rumor going around for a long time. Now we're doing good. Um, we're not going under. We just scaled back and changed a couple of things the way that uh, we operate, and we're doing just fine. I got a new 2010 board in my truck, and everything's all good. Rusty, where to you get your tattoos? Hart and Huntington. I've got one there before. Yeah, this last one. OWC or McCormick's? Ooh, that's a tough one. I've never been to McCormick's. I went so. to McCormick's with Trev maybe a month ago. And I probably liked it better just because the rails there are, are real rails. They're posted on the ground and they're tracks and they don't move. And They also got an island in the middle, which really helps. Um, OWC doesn't have that island. So when one person's riding up this side, their rollers hit the rails on the other side. And McCormick's probably stays a lot flatter. I think I need glasses. I'll read for you. One hundred percent. I can do a couple of inverts and some five. I live in Texas. I would love to ride for Gator. So can I be sponsored? Maybe. Send in your little sponsor me video. Eric and myself and the other guys at Gator will check it out. If you go on the website, it tells you how you can do all that. People ask that all the time. I'm not tired at all. I just my I'm not. I'm, I must have it? bad eyes or something. It's hard for I, I'm having a hard what time like seeing it. Oh, oh. money! You just learned a little Apple trick here where you can zoom in on the text. Look at that! Yeah. What's learn? your What's your Look address, Trev? We'll just learn how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Fourteen and hoping to get either back roll or a tantrum or three. What comes first? Um, I usually tell people that come to the camp, it's kind of whatever your brain understands first, like between a back row and a tantrum. When I first learned wakeboard, I don't know about you, but I could only understand a tantrum. I still couldn't understand how to do a back row. I didn't get how my body would flip like that. Um, 
So it's kind of whatever your body understands and your mind understands. The, the Tantrum moment. for sure, dude. You come to the boarding school, we'll get you all straightened out. We'll get you all three of those in a week. <laughs> I like the cap, the big letters better for sure. That's what you do. It doesn't seem like it's going so fast. Dude. <laughs> I know. Who does the graphics for Gator? Uh, a guy named Jeremy Jones has done them. Um, he just has a new website. You can check it out. It's jeremyjonesdesign.com, I think. Um, but he's done mine. I've been real happy with what he's made for me, and he's a good guy. Look at that. Oh, it is. E well, it's easier if, like, the odd person writes in caps, not everybody. What are your favorite tricks? <laughs> you are yelling at me. <laughs> I am? No, that's what the guy said. What are your favorite tricks? My favorite tricks right now are Pete Rose and I've been off and on hitting my toes eye back with a blind and when I land it clean that's a pretty cool feeling. What's your favorite trick? Um, I just learned how to do that toe side uh, backside five wake to wake so I've been having fun with that. That's how it did in Charlotte. Yeah. Oh, that was cool. The little rail event in Charlotte, that was a lot of fun. When was the last time you seen JD? When was the last time I seen JD? Recently, I think. Oh, I, I seen him at the Double Up contest the week, at the weekend. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get that huge three foot rail. Mm hmm. Uh, wakeboarding should be like more like snowboarding. No, they're not really. They're two different sports, and there's similarities for sure. They carry carry over, but there's things that you just will never be able to do on a wakeboard that you can do on a snowboard. I think just based upon snowboards can have more time in the air because they got bigger jumps, hard jumps are, are limited to how much weight the boat can take. I mean, if they make like a 100 foot boat that makes a 100 foot wake, it would be a little bit closer. Who's the best double up rider? Rough. No, there there's a lot of really good guy, really good double up riders. Um, you know, like Danny can hit double ups every which direction. Uh, Chad's really good. I mean, I don't even want to try to start naming off all the really good double up riders. There's so many. But um, um yeah, there definitely is a place to sleep at the camp. Um, the camp is a house on its chain of seven lakes. There is one, two, three bedrooms there. Um, the house is super nice. If you go to the boardingschool.com, I'm just like dropping plugs here. Like, if you go to the boardingschool.com, there's pictures of the house and stuff on there so you can see where you sleep. But it's super nice. Events post house last week in March. Uh, I don't know. If you go to the Ally Sports website, it'll tell you. There might yeah. be a gravel tour then. We're just pretending to be friends. No, Kyle. Moved into my guest house, and then uh, he he bought a house on the same lake. We've we've been hanging out for for a couple of years now. We hang out almost every day. So Russ is a uh, <laughs> best man at my wedding. Yeah. So yeah. Indy Township backside three looks like a backside rodeo seven. Teach is all cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to do what I can do. Either you like it or you don't. I'm, I don't know. Uh, King of Wake you back to Hyperlight. Hopefully next year, man. I've been I've been working hard and riding the best I've ever rode in my life right now. So keep that up. I got a, I got a chance next year for sure. James, you can uh, get a job working at the camp. Hit Travis up. Send him your details and stuff. Wake skaters. What does Jimmy live with you? Yeah, Jimmy lives in the guest house. It's across, across the pool. You can see him right now. Jimmy's over there. Almost see him. Who else do we ride with? We ride with Trevor Hansen almost every day. Um, I like going in and ride with Chad and Watson and those guys on high velocity. Danny Secret Lake. Try to ride with Murray at the camp when I can. Name drop there. <laughs> Where are you guys being for Halloween? Claremont, bro. Claremont. My costume's kind of embarrassing. I'm John and Kate plus eight with Katie. <laughs> oh, I'm being a jailbird and Lindsay's being a uh, a cop. 
I had zero say in. I just told her I don't care what I am, so that's what I am. What do you think about na renaming some tricks? I think there's a couple tricks that could be renamed. They do sound a little kooky. But, love it. What's up? Hey, boys. Last time we saw Henshaw. I haven't seen Henshaw in a long time. Mm hmm. A couple weeks. I'm not sure. Next time we'll be out in uh, Sinclair. Hopefully, hopefully this next year. I love oh, it that, out there. Is that Ike for real? Yeah, it Ike, is. What's up, man? Hope your little girl's doing good. Brett Eisenhower. That's that's the man. He lives back in Australia now. He's got himself a family. So, like nine week old baby. Hopefully everything's working out okay for you guys. Miss you, Ike. Who's the worst guy to ride with? Kyle Ratchet. Eh? He's always yelling, screaming. Oh, the water's real clear at that secret lake. It's like a real old nice. sand core. You can see like 30 feet straight to the bottom. It's, it's cool that it's in Florida. Most lakes in Florida are pretty black and dark. It's cool. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Billy Mays. Billy like Mays that. Hayes. Did I get my name tattooed on my leg? Nope. Yeah, he did. No, I did. He's embarrassed. He did. I did not. <laughs> He's got it on his leg. Here, look at my legs. I don't know. Don't show him. Don't show him. Nothing. I did start wakeboarding in Ontario. Uh, my cottage is in Halliburton. I wakeboarded there. I wakeboarded in Muskoka's all over the place. Yes, but Ontario is where I'm from. Adam, I don't know. You have to hit Travis up. He's a... Uh, He's in charge of all the financial stuff. I just show up and coach and wakeboard. But that's a Travis question. But he does do stuff like that sometimes. Ike's a legend for sure. Balzer's getting married in like two weeks, man. <laughs> He's, uh, it is. It's like on the, yeah, like exactly two weeks. Balzer's getting married where, uh, we're going up there to. I'm actually in his wedding, so. I do not know Muskoka Joe Kristen. Kristen got in this taxi. Travis's wife, in Toronto. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, the cab driver told her that he knew me. Doesn't know That's me. That's funny. They're going so fast they can't even see. Oh, we're right here. No, look oh, at. Oh, you moved this. Yeah. Whoa, I missed whoa, so many whoa, questions. Whoa. Hey, what is this? You look real right. Rails for uh, drive was so much fun. Oh, crap, slow down. It's kind of like a, um, it was a cold winter, but we spent a lot of time building cool rails, and we had a great time. I did anyway. Like, yeah, Baldur's was getting married. It's crazy. Yeah, I've been to base camp a few times. <laughs> no, I like that. Uh, yeah, I've been to base camp a few times. I tried to get back there this year, but I uh, just had a crazy busy summer this year. But I'm definitely planning on making it to Muskoka for at least a week next year, hanging out with Guard and Snidel and the, all the base camp guys. Uh, it's it's crazy living with Jim. He's always having parties and um, disrespecting my yard. And, doing burnouts on the lawn but I'm kicking them out real soon so I don't have to put up with it much longer I'm not fixing my hat for no one look just even this guy knows I suck at ordering sushi I don't know how to do it every time I go to sushi it's usually with Russ and Lindsay and me and Katie and I just slide the order form to Russ otherwise we end up with like 20 extra rolls I name my board after my son 1030 10 30. Um, who was your best man? Who was mine? Yeah. It was my dad. It was my. Is, where's the question? Yeah, it was my dad at, at our wedding. That was someone I look up to, and uh, it was just pretty cool to have him there. Uh, my favorite place to ride is honestly in our lake right out there. 
Um, I've had more fun in this lake getting to ride with Russ and Trev and all the guys every day. That's where a lot of my best memories are, are and hopefully a lot more to come. But I like this lake. It's the best. Nice V-neck. Thank you. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fox t-shirt. <clears throat> you What's up? How did you hurt your ankle? Um, I hurt my ankle back, like, I think it was a year ago. Um, I'd landed that one flat backside nine, and then I was at Chad's. I was riding. It was kind of windy, and I don't know. I just asked for a double up and tried a back nine, and I didn't come all the way around and kind of inverted sprain, inverted sprain my ankle, and it... Uh, it was a um, pretty bad injury, actually. It's been bothering me for a long time now, so I tape it every time I ride, and I've had about four quarter zone shots in it now. and Just something I have to deal with. It, you know, it's better than a blown knee, I guess, or something like that, but it's still a pain in the butt for sure. Russ, what's up? Russ McDonough, you in the family? Here, look, this one. Mm -hmm. I guess all you did on a trampoline. You did do it on a trampoline I did. first. Well, that was my other ankle, but that <laughs> one's fine. That was just, we put a trampoline on the dock and we're jumping off the top of the boathouse onto the dock, into the, or onto the tramp into the water. And, um, yeah, I tweaked my ankle on that. But I think flat spins are definitely harder than off-axis spins. It takes way mm -hmm. more control. Flat's definitely harder. Yeah, for sure. You can see if you just watch videos or contests, and we'll look at how many guys are doing off-axis toe stands and how many are doing flat. There's a reason for that stuff. Yeah. I'm not calling anyone out. I can only do an off-axis toe seven. Just telling you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No super bad injuries for me. Um, never been knocked out. Um, my worst injury was I blew my left knee out pretty good. Um, but it recovered, and it's all back to normal. But it took took like eight months of rehab, and then another almost year of Russ calling me a, a girl every day. Making me try stuff I didn't think I was ready to try, but probably without Russ, I still wouldn't be doing some tricks today. Tattoo hyperlane on my arm. How I much? do it for like, I'll probably do it for 15 grand a month for the next 30 years of my life. Seriously, for the right price, I would do it. <laughs> Look at it. Russ, he's done more. How riding in grassroots contests was supposed to help shape your career. Uh, I honestly think I owe a lot to the X-Cup. Um, I think if people are interested in riding contests and stuff, the only way to really get good at them is to go do them. Um, you know, you can ride in your backyard all day long, and when you're comfortable behind your own wake and on your lake and hit your line a hundred times in a row, but when you go to a contest, the wake's a little different. There's a little bit of nerves. You paid money to enter. Your mom drove you there. Or you flew there or something like that. Um, so the only way to learn how to deal with that stuff and to get better at it is doing them. So I did all those next couple stuffs, and I think that really helped me learn how to how to handle that stuff. Mm -hmm. What do you think about rap tricks? I think they're cool. I think some of the stuff that, that Danny's doing is cool. Chris O's doing some cool rap stuff. I think it's cool. It's harder than it looks. I've been trying. It's way harder than it looks. Yeah, there's a place for app tricks in our sport for sure. Those guys make it look really, really cool. And um, I wouldn't say rap tricks are easier or harder. You know what I mean? It's it's uh, it's equally as challenging to do to do both. How am I weighing my X star? I weighed um, put one really big fat sack through the center walkway, and then another one across it, and then two under the front seat. And then one really big one in the back, like um, on the back by the floor there. And then two more in each back uh, count or cabinet. And uh, and then there's like some sand cans throughout the boat as well. Uh, JJ, yeah, I don't ever judge contests. Um, I don't ever want that job. <laughs> but yeah, I drive the boat for the junior men on the pro tour and the women. I do a rally on the cable all day. They all pay me to get to the contest. It makes it a little cheaper. I like driving. It's fun. I'm not very good at holding my breath. I don't know what that means, but it might be. Boat riding will be around forever. There's no way that cable will take over boat riding. Absolutely not. But 
you know, cable's getting more popular for sure, and I support that 100%. It's only good. I don't think there's anything. I don't think one's going to take over the other. The more cables there are, the more boards the companies are selling, the more money they have. It, it's just like a big circle. The more anything to do with wakeboarding is just going to help the sport in general. Bring on the cables and the boats in the winter. Mm -hmm. We go through a ton of gas. A ton of right? gas. <laughs> ton of gas. I don't know. You go three through gas, three six. gas cans, a two or two probably two gas cans a day between like a person. Well, easily a six can or a set if you're riding for like half an hour. Cable's not taking over, no matter what you say. Biggest fan. I would like to be able to grab a ten. I, I mean, I hope to. I've got tens consistent enough now to where I can definitely start working on on grabbing it. I do not have a college degree. I do. What are you laughing at? No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Maybe one day. It's not taking over, no matter what. Uh, I like boat more than cable. Me too. I like hitting rails. St. Clair. Lake St. Clair is the best lake ever in Georgia. I think. It's the only one I've ever been to. Stoke Meter is definitely helping. Lake boarding, choked on Stoke. It's a weird name. Winch will take over. Yeah, actually, I can see that. University of Saskatchewan doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's a legitimate uh, university. What's wrong with that? I don't hate cable. I'm officially going on record that I don't hate the cable. I just, I enjoy wakeboarding behind the boat more. <laughs> I like hitting rails behind the cable. I suck at the cable. But, uh, I personally just have no desire to do that stuff. Yeah. yeah team team Hyperlight. What's up? I'm growing my hair out. I have a bet going. Cause some uh a buddy of mine thinks I'm totally going bald, so I told him that I can I am like definitely kinda going bald, but I'm I'm gonna grow my hair out one last hurrah before uh, before it's definitely all gone. Uh, I don't winch that much just because I don't have a winch. I don't know anybody with a winch. Um, and honestly, I don't have that much time during the day. And if if I I'm usually either at the camp or out around <laughs> the lake, grow a rat tail. Kimbo. Come on, man. You've seen him lose in his first fight in The Ultimate Fighter. He's a great street fighter, but the MMA is different, man. Scott, I am on the sport in the mullet. I uh, told my fiance I'm growing my hair out for a year before I get married. and Unfortunately, my hair looks like some days like Rod Stewart or some days it's a mullet. It's not a good look. Oh. Did it break? What? Phil or Andrew? What does that mean? Both. They're both. When am I getting married? I'm getting married October 16th next year. Give me Crosby. Crosby Russ. Well, I don't know. He's not Isn't two, he young? 210 pounds. He's a little guy, right? Oh, he's, he's not little, but I don't think he's 210. Someone wants to know if you were at the dinner to fight. I think they're setting you up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Who wants to see Murray <laughs> stop doing Superman? That's the biggest crowd pleaser ever. That's funny, though. The true story is at the camp, Murray can have the best set, land every trick that he's ever landed in his whole life, and people at the end will be like, man, he didn't do a Superman to tumble turn. People love that. I don't know why, but... Hmm. He does do the biggest rallies. 100% biggest rallies I've ever seen. John, I did show up for Wakestock in Collingwood. I was there. Water was pretty rough, and I rode horrible. I was cut in the first round. I was there, though, but I sucked that weekend. 
Yeah. How about an arm wrestle? Yeah, arm wrestle. No, wrestle break my arm off. I'll forfeit already. JJ, if you come to the camp, it's included in the price that Murray will do a rally over you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have time in your day to go winching. No. No. Not really. I would. Kyle, can you flex your butt? Oh, Levick calling me out. He was there but didn't show up. Dang. Three times. Oh, somebody missed yet. Wake up. Next year. Next year. Mm hmm. Kurt. Yeah, I did get to ride the Wake Lab. That was one of the coolest things I've ever got to do. Thanks, Parks, for letting me go. Um, Wake Lab is the coolest thing. It's, it's huge. It's, the rails are awesome. Um, I wasn't even thinking about the judging. I made it through a bunch of rounds in the qualifying day, and I was pumped. It was so fun to ride it, and I liked it so much. I, I put on demos the second day in between the heats. I, I hit that thing all day long. If it's ever near you, go watch. It's cool. Someone wants to know who shaped your boy. <laughs> I have a good idea who that is. Um, did the graphics ever work? Blaze did the graphics. Who shaped it? Aaron shaped it. Aaron's a man. He did a sick job. I heard, a, I heard that same rumor, Scott. I hope that that rumor's true, that they're setting up Wake Lab with the project. Um, I heard a couple of things from Oliver and Jerome that they might be setting up half of it, like the half with the pool. Um, I hope they do. It would be fun to have that set up. It's kind of a shame it's not out here to hit, but I guess if we hit it all the time, it would kind of get played out. I've seen Randall ride. I've seen Randall ride. Randy used to ride a lot together when he rode for Gator. It was cool to ride with him. Insane. Uh, me and Russ use the same rope. I actually don't have my own rope and handle. I use Russ's every day, and it's 82 and a half feet. <clears throat> Ralph, yeah, actually, uh, Maurice talked to me about that stoke meter contest. I, uh, I'd love to be a part of that. It sounds like a cool idea. Yeah, I think a cable park in Toronto will for sure work. If I ever meet a bajillionaire, my idea is I think you should dig a big pool in, like, one of those tennis bubbles that you put over driving ranges or... I guess a tennis court in the wintertime. You could put one of those over it and have it open in the wintertime. I got the Hyundai XL. Still got it. Just in the driveway. <laughs> I ride a 25 and press ride slower than that. 24.5. Yeah, I do remember that when Randall smoked the dock. Uh, that was the year that I had a hurt knee and I was driving the boat for Wake Stock. I remember that. I 100% saw him cut in and put the boat in neutral before he started cutting, and he still cut hard enough to make it land and all the way to hit the dock. If I hadn't cut the throttle, I'm pretty sure there might not be a Randall Harris anymore. Good night, Moyes. Thanks, Moyes. Um, Ford or Chevy had both, my old Ford. And uh, I have a Chevy now. The only superstition I have is, I don't know if it's a superstition, I always put my left boot on for my right boot. I don't know why, but I don't know if it's a superstition. Um, I always talk to myself underwater before I ride. Jay, Millie, yeah, Randall hit the dock for the backside of the way. Huge. Huge one. I can't believe he even cut in, though, to do that chick. Like, if I didn't put it in neutral, we would have landed on the dock. <laughs> what was he thinking? Squeezing one in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Squeezing one in, he went 100 feet past the way. Hey, you know we never checked? How many I people, started right there. How many people there. are watching us? Oh, that's pretty good. How many? Eric's asleep, I think. Oh, no, yeah, he's right. Asleep. He's right there. He's yelling. <laughs> Didn't let him break his legs. No, when I'm driving, I... I say people all the time, 
Sometimes, like when we're driving the tour, people are like are riding and they're in the zone. And sometimes, a couple times, people cut right at the fun box or right at the rail. And hey, boobs, grab me that. Uh, had to put it grab that open handle. The and, uh, I don't want to see anybody. Yeah, Who's life jacket. Hey, I think oh, we're need, giving away stuff. We forgot. You need to watch Merrick here right away. Cause Lindsay's is leaving. We forgot to, our stuff. We're giving away. Uh, I'd say probably Raphael Drome is yeah, Raphael on his Oliver. way to, uh, well, Oliver's already sick, like, he's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Raph, um, Raph rips. Raph is definitely going to be Canadian's Hey, but we need to take a break. How are we going to give our stuff away? We forgot We're going to do it right away. <laughs> we didn't forget. No. Let's guess if you soon. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't that bad. We we had the helicopter rented for two hours the first day, and then another following two hours. So we didn't have our boats super weighted down just because we needed to be um, we needed to be able to maneuver them really quick for that opening shot. ATL, we're giving away. Well, I'm giving away a uh, O'Neill vest. Got a brand new O'Neill life jacket. And I'm giving away a brand new uh, carbon Merrick handle with a rope. Comes my annoying dog. Yeah. Mary, can I say what up again? Here. The life jacket. The life jacket. What size? My size, large. Okay. A large V. Hey, I'm giving away. Yeah, large. Uh oh. oh. Uh. One Mary. One Merrick. Decide on that. How do you guys I'll want take to give Merrick. it away? <laughs> Merrick, say hi. Say hi. Free chew. Say hi. Free what? Free chew. Cheese. Free chew. Cheese. Give Booby the rundown and then, like, because what time is it now? Yeah, okay. he only has to watch him for like Katie's chewing on the handle. Minutes. Katie's on there? Yeah. It comes with the comes with teeth Merrick marks. Teeth mark. uh. Merrick's going to be two in December, December 27th. From his mama. I got no idea. <laughs> we should swap hair. That would be sweet. Ooh, ah, hey! Who how should we give this away? Uh, Think of a random fact, snap. Ah. Or Russ's birthday. Ah. Bang. Stop choking. It. Yeah. I don't know. How do you give stuff away? <laughs> Look, he's digging into that thing. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh, he. Seriously, Oh, sorry <laughs> about that. The winner. Merrick, let go, let go, let go. Take him in, boobs. Take him in, dude. No. He, he, no, no, he literally Daddy. took a little chunk out of the handle. <laughs> Means it's authentic. You'll know it's the exact you one. Mine away with was here. Uh-oh. Yeah, Merrick. Merrick will straight up hit you with a golf club if you're not careful. <laughs> hey, Mom. My mom's on. Ryder says hi. Ryder. Hey, Mom. I'll beat you in Merrick. Uh-oh. Okay, I know my trivia question. What? Well, I can't say it because people start firing it in. Okay, <laughs> wait to the end. You broke it. Well, hopefully you can, because Merrick definitely did put a little, take a little chunk out of that handle. Extra grip. <laughs> Extra grip, Finger bro. Uh-oh. Did you break it? Um, you know your... Uh, I know my thing, but... We can't give the questions just yet, just because we gotta we're going to keep how talking, and then... Um, I think um, Reese has an a email set up for, for you guys to put in your, an or your answers, and then... Um, he'll let you guys know the winner and everything. Yeah, we can do mine quick. Okay, go for it. So the first person's name up on here that Daddy. can tell me my hometown, the town I was born in. Come on, dude. Is this a bad one? Oh, Alright, cancel that question. <laughs> Let's say... Not Toronto. 
Oh, See, there's that's Roto. where you got to answer, or you got to send your answer to stokemeter2 at gmail.com. Roro, new life jacket. What? He won it yeah. that easy. He knew. Fans. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> you you should have had at least a hard question. That's a hard one if you don't know who I am. You gotta look. But he that's knew. a true fan. He knew right off the bat. Fair enough. Fair enough. Roro, email stokemeter. Here's your life jacket. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not giving my my question out yet. Not to the end. To the very end. So see that guy just met you. See that? Oh, Ronnie blew it. All right, Ronnie. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> now I think of a new question. Ronnie blew it. Mommy. Mommy. Hey, I want to go see mom. I want to go see mom. Now I gotta think of a new question. Why? Who won it? Ronnie Ramiro won it. He said Ronnie, he come won. on, man. <laughs> At least he spelled it right. Come messing with us. Hey, Quentin just found a cowboy hat. <laughs> I remember your long hair. I remember Chris Lasky. I remember our long hair, too. I'm about to have long hair again. Real soon. Like probably half a year. I'm beat you. Uh huh. <laughs> I think of a question. Oh. Ask away. It's only ten. Yeah, like another half an hour. Lasky's cool, man. He was a good dude. He ripped too. I remember he used to have a bunch of rails out on his lake. I don't even remember what lake it was called, but. Just have these huge round pipes and uh, like huge, like this big, Remember, like an up to a flat. That old, that old video under it. He was sick. Oh yeah, an Ontario question. Okay, I'll have to think about it for a minute. I got a good one. It's a, it's a wakeboard question, too. Should I do it? No, I, mean, I bought a new house. Um, it's like probably five miles from from where me and Danny used to live. But, uh, yeah. Let's see Jimmy. I think Jimmy's gone. His lights are off. I think Jimmy's sleeping. Jimmy's in bed. Out cold. Danny still lives in the same house that we lived in, yes. No, he probably can't have Danny's address. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, <laughs> 428. <laughs> Jimmy is moving. 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 Not moved. Are you drinking Bud Light? No. Uh, Bud Slack, 55 cows. Only 55 calories. <laughs> How'd I meet my wife? Your wife? Oh, our wife. What? Oh. I met my wife through Jack Blodgett. Um, him and his old girlfriend were going to this cool place you called did? the Rainbow River. Jack called me to go to the I Rainbow River. I met my wife through Jack Blodgett. <laughs> Whoa, that's true. I yeah. thought you were joking and just no, saying I swear. that. Jack invited me out to the Rainbow River to go hang out because he didn't want to go by himself. And Katie went with his girlfriend Greta. <laughs> so I was all over after that. Mm. Hey, I know who that is. <laughs> Uh, Jack is a matchmaker. Thanks, Jack. Uh, yeah. Jack doesn't compete much anymore. Jack's pretty busy with Oakley. Um, he films a lot. But uh, I think he just rides pretty much for fun these days. Yep. My wakeboarding goals? 
I just want to, I just definitely always want to be in the hunt. I don't want to fall off and I want to make sure I'm always, uh, you know, always pushing it as hard as I can and, and, uh, you know, just keep working hard and riding as much as I can. Who's the funniest wakeboarder or most hilarious wakeboarder? Ooh. Andrew Atkins pretty funny. Yeah, he's funny. Really funny. I really don't think Murray's funny at all. I'm just kidding, Murray. Bob actually Bob. is really, he's pretty funny. Too. Bob's funny for about three minutes. No disrespect <laughs> to Bob, but not my style of funny. <laughs> Irritating wakeboarder. I don't know. I don't know what these are. These questions, I don't get it. Bob does get it. What was your first legit trick? I think I learned my very. I think it was probably a tantrum of blind, ungrabbed tantrum blind. I remember learning back in the day. It's probably the first hard trick I learned. I was a rap KGB, courtesy of Jerry Nunn. Uh, I don't know. I, I think hitting rails on the cable on the boat, is, they're both pretty different, um, but they're both fun. Probably, I'd have to say, behind the boat of the jet skis, a little funner. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'm actually trying to plan a snowboard trip with Katie. Um, I didn't get to go last year because my knee was hurt and I was trying to learn how to wakeboard again. But uh, this winter I definitely want to find somewhere to go. I don't know where uh, the snow is falling right now. I'm going to have to look into it. <clears throat> Do people in the industry know? Like I said, Cantor the Blinds and Rap KGBs are not legit. <laughs> They're not legit. Um, sorry. Try Try harder for you, sir. Jerry Nunn did kill it back in the day. Jerry Nunn still kills it. He's the most crazy in shape dude I've ever seen. and He could go out today and still hang for sure. At one point, I think he could do like, I don't even know how many sevens are possible, but he could do every one of them in a line. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been to Whistler. It's too busy there. There's too many people and too many lines. I want to snowboard, not stand in the chairlift line. My first wakeboard video was my house. My mom ordered it for me for Christmas, I think, one year forever ago. Incomplete was the first video that I watched when I was back in the day when I was kind of just getting into it. <clears throat> that video made me want to ride really bad. Adam, yeah, I ride. I didn't. I don't ride with Lyman that often, but uh, he actually came out to the camp this week and uh, watched him take a set. He's pretty cool to watch. Like Randall, he goes huge. We did watch Johnny to Dave last night. It was awesome. Him freestyle. Watched him rap. Awesome. Twelve Honkies is a good movie. Trombone is tight. I've been there before. Guy that got struck by lightning is awesome. That's sick. It's awesome. What are the odds of that? Mm -hmm. Probably pretty rare. He is a good rapper. Just from what I heard. Really good. This is my tattoo. I only have one on my arm. That says a lot more. I don't know if I'd say if I love rap. I listen to rap. I listen to country. I listen to all kinds of stuff. I hope Gray does well, but uh, we'll fight. Anything can happen, so we'll see. <laughs> Bought such a girlfriend. Uh, I don't know. Possibly. Hopefully it'd be cool for her. I hope she does well. I didn't go to Brostock. I don't know. Neither did 
I don't know. Water is super out there. Oh, that, that Machida fight, man. That was disappointing. That didn't even look like himself. It's crazy, but uh, yeah, I don't think he probably didn't win that fight. But they gave it to him. I followed Dana White on Twitter, and he said that they already agreed to rematch. Hopefully, they go at it a little bit. Kyle wants time. Kyle will freestyle for you guys. Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> You have to pay him his number. You should call him and get him to freestyle and hold the phone. I don't. You gonna fight one day? What's up? You gonna fight? Yeah, I'm gonna fight you after this. No, maybe. Uh, in the off season. Uh, I like to wakeboard in the off season. I like to ride my bike. I got a new house that I'm trying to renovate with my fiance and family. That takes a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time. Did you get your stuff lately? <laughs> Not yet. Saskatchewan rules. Yeah, I'd like to fight Chuck Liddell. I think that would go really well for him. Really <laughs> bad for me. <laughs> But it would be cool to... No, it wouldn't be. Cool. Oh, we're setting a record here? No. Being third. Top three. That's pretty good. I've seen that show at Corner Gas a few times. Um, it's like Red I Green. I haven't, show. no. How many viewers? Uh, this weekend's Halloween. This, uh, Friday night's Scott Barley's Halloween party. That's what I'm doing. Friday night. Me too. That's what I'm, I'm going to do that too. If Kyle think likes to make out I think huh? flagboards are cool on rails. I uh, personally can't ride it off the wake. I like when I build my Strange board, I try to make it stiff and snappy off the wake. And I don't know. Uh, I can't. Well, with one of those flex boards. Already, already said what we're gonna be for Halloween. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Mine's embarrassing. I'm Johnny K plus eight. <laughs> it's the difference between three stage and continuous. I ride continuous. My board's continuous. The difference is. Three stage is a little slower, and I think it's a little less predictable off the wake. Uh, continuous board is a little better for a beginner intermediate rider, just a little more consistent and a little more easier to learn your tricks on. Oh, Bob and Doug McKenzie would have been a sweet idea. Thanks, man. Next year. Oh, Adam, I actually, oh, yeah. he sent me the link to watch that. You've never seen it? Totally forgot oh. to watch the link. Sorry, Adam. Merrick's being a little Indian boy for Halloween. It's really cute. It'd be funny. Little bow and arrow. Um, I got to train with Gray. Yes, it was awesome. Um, at this point in my life, I'm focusing 100% on wakeboarding, but I do really love the fighting and all that stuff. So, Adam, I'm never gonna try to flip onto a rail. Never. I am. Possibly. Uh, yeah, I like the MMA as much as Russ. I'm definitely not as educated about it, but I definitely like to watch it. I think it's cool. I watch the Ultimate Fighter. Motocross is awesome. I have a YZ450. I try to ride as much as I can. Um, <laughs> motocross is like... <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, yeah. The motocross is sick, yeah. Ever ride Henny's 50? Ridden his 50 track? I don't yeah. know if he still has it. <laughs> Henny had a cool like 50 track in the backyard of his house that burned around on a few times. 
Mm-hmm. How old will Merrick be when you teach him the leg floor? Um, Nick, well, he'll be like two and a half. Articat. That's the kind of snowmobile I ride when I go home. Pretty sure Parks has the record for youngest wakeboard. Want to race? Yeah, let's race, man. Merrick already it. missed that boat. Yeah, he missed out big time. Five years. I think wakeboarding is going to be big in five years. Hopefully, they find a way to put wakeboarding on the dude tour. Um, it'd be cool that I went and watched it the other weekend. It's big crowd turnout, and they got big sponsors and stuff. But uh, it'd be cool if we're on the dude tour. I know Blair Morgan really well. His sister was just here like two weeks ago visiting. Her and her family. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what it would take to get on the dude tour. I know that um, they stopped doing it on the X Games just because it costs too much money to have a separate site just for wakeboarding. Um, so if the dude tour could ever be put beside a lake, <laughs> it might be able to happen. Maybe they could build a special lake for it. I don't know. Um, they're coming in so fast. Steve Wallman. I have no idea. I don't even know that guy. Shadtown crew, Jimmy and Shane went with them. They said it was insane. A lot of really crazy stuff. And the stuff that I've seen was pretty pretty gnarly. No helmets and I don't know, like six inches of water with rocks around trying to jump these huge gaps. Pretty intense. These guys are, uh, these guys are gnarly. I think they could definitely do the dude tour with Wake Lab. Um, it probably cost a lot less, you know, if Red Bull would get involved or something along the same lines of that would be cool. It'd be cool if they could figure out a way to do it with pools where it could be like in a parking lot so they didn't have to find a, find a lake or something, but I think it's for sure possible. Chris Gibson works for Air Canada. He's a pilot. Sick. The coldest weather. Turin would have been back at home for back me. in the day. Like, try to go for rides on Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving back in Canada, the water's like 40, 50. It's cold. That's probably. <laughs> His park's really as sad as he looks in the. <laughs> That's funny. Um, no, he's not. PB's just short. He's not fat. He's real strong. He just wears small shirts. Parks is my friend. Yeah, System 2.0 could help get wakeboarding back in the X Games for sure. Same as like Wake Lab or something like that. They could. That's a setup where they could build big oh, portable snap. pools and you know Liz! put it in the parking lot or something. Hey, record Nitro Circus real quick. What's up, Leafers? Hey, record. Uh, hey. And, uh, oh, I missed it. I taped it. What's your favorite stop on the Pro Tour? Mine's Texas. That private lake they got's cool. The water's always calm and it's deep, so the lake's big. Texas is my favorite stop. Over. There's not another one playing at like 11? What? Huh. Corn dogs, what's up? That guy wants a rock star, huh? Here you go. Fort Worth is a private lake. It's like the, the Mastercraft dealers <laughs> own lake that they got behind there. They're set up. It's cool there. They got a system 2.0 there now too, I think. I 
highest paying contest? It's probably bro stockies. Yeah. Out. 20 grand. Go for a safe tour of your house. What? Go for a safe tour of your house. We're on the patio, this is the outside. Probably couldn't see anything. Go green or go home, no doubt. Nice patio. I love TVs. I have four TVs. I sleep with my TV on all night. <laughs> Look, I always send you messages on MySpace, but us doesn't have a MySpace or Facebook. They're fake on there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get Nitro Circus on iTunes. Thanks, man. I have a Twitter though. Russ does have a Twitter. I have a Twitter too. I have a Twitter. Can't believe it. My face. The person that I don't have a Facebook. Some imposter. Someone, someone says that they're 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 me, but it's not. I have a Twitter, man. Hit me up. Great, you have been talking to a fake Rusty. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Bummer. The guy that pretend the guy that think the guy that says he has me uh, as Facebook. Later, Ike. Um, the guy that has me on Facebook said, or some uh, one of my friends, he had written on there and spelt my wife's name wrong. And my friend uh, wrote on there, if you're Rusty Melanowski, you think you know how to spell his wife's name. And then he <laughs> deleted her. I know he does, man. That's crazy. It's kind of creepy. It's weird. It's weird. Get some security around here. Yes, it is. Liam and James, North Bay. What's up? Shout out. Uh, I, I haven't made out to Cali in a long time, but I've been telling those guys out there I want to go ride at Randall's New Lake. It looks pretty cool out there. One of these days I'll make it out there. It's a Rockwell watch. It's a newer company. Uh, myself, JD, and Randall ride for them. Jimmy's, Jimmy's got a boyfriend now, so I think him and him are hanging out in the guest house. I did stay at Lake Oconee this summer. Um, there's a guy that comes to the camp. His name's Ron. New Chuck's um, wicked. I went out there. He flew me out there for, I think, three days. Um, I did some lessons and stuff. It was awesome. That lake's cool. <laughs> uh -huh. Spring ride, yeah, I'm coming this year. I missed it this yeah, year. I was it. busy. Rockwell. I've never been to Powell. I'd love to go to Powell. Chuck's lifted. Oh, that like Coney's connected to St. Clair. I I I'll that. give you a holler. When we're done. I didn't know that. All right, I'll come. Need some more information. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to cut my grass in the morning. I'm going to shoot with Bear over here, and then go to Scott's party tomorrow. That's my day. I have a YZ450. I'll do a fundraiser event. I'll come to one. I'll do it. I'll do anything. We're These are going fast. Correct, dude. You guys should come to a contest. 
Adam, yeah, we'll do a contest. Contest in Muskoka would be awesome. There needs to be more up there. Hey, Tail, you should have come. Next time, come hit me up. That's what I am there to do, teach. If you want to come and hang out and ride and get some pointers, that's what I was there for. Next time, make sure you come out. It was fun. Uh, I love my gator board setup. It's the setup that I got to design myself, so it's pretty much uh, perfect the way I like it. I, I love it. The prospect, check it out. When I go to the gym, I just basically talk on my phone and hang up. <laughs> I don't know. Different Rick, kind of exercises. Rick, hit up Maurice uh, for my email and we can work something out. I'd love to come up with North Bay. That'd be cool. <laughs> Um, Rick, Maurice might have to, Maurice, maybe you could put it back up there again, the email that, uh, you could, oh, there it is right there. <laughs> He's quick. I need to, no, we I need give to the think of a away. question. Let's do, this is what we're doing right now, prizes. You want me to go first while yes, you're thinking? Yes, you go first. Okay, so here's, the contest works, see that email right there, stalkmeter2 at gmail? Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you who wins when I tell you, or I'll tell you which name I see comes up first, and that's who won, and just send an email to that email and uh, with your address and stuff, and we'll get you the prize. Where'd my prize go? Merrick ate it. I gotta find my prize. It's outside. It's inside. Huh. Kyle's giving away a, a life jacket, and I'm giving away a rope and handle. Okay. Adam, you ever seen the footage of Weatherall doing the attempted backflip and up dog? He landed he once. Yeah, you know, he stuck it for sure, but he also did one where he went halfway and the bike landed right on top of him. I don't know if my question's too easy. <laughs> Smoky Joe. Smoky Joe looks good. <laughs> Smoky Joe is the boat that I learned to wakeboard behind. I still have it today. I don't know if my question's too easy or not. Should I tell you what it is and you can tell me it's too easy? No, that's good. Yeah. Good one. Okay, so here, here's your prize. Life jacket. The first name that I see up on here. Um, wins this life jacket. The question is, where was the first wake stock ever held? The very first one. Humboldt, Saskatchewan. No. Damn. Jay Millie. Bala. New life jacket. Bala. 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 Powell. So just email to Maurice uh, that Bala. email that was on there. You, and, you uh, got a good we'll question I could to ask to give Mark. I'll put it in Sorry. overnight mail. Boo! <laughs> Just that. Do you know how many ten days he's done? No. How many? Think of a number. Shasta. No. Jimmy Shasta's not in Canada. The biggest fan. Oh. That's... Or did he change his name again? <laughs> yeah, the key. I used to go to the key all the time. I used to boat there from hey, uh, Pride of Muskoka. What's ask? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to ask you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, What's with all the Canadian questions? We're Canadian. You guys like beer. I love beer, love man. Beer. Your home lake. I went to Canada a couple weeks ago for Thanksgiving and hadn't drank Canadian beer in a while. 
It's a little stiffer than it is down here. I don't know. I thought you were home there, so I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, the lake where I grew up wakeboarding in Saskatchewan. First person to know the name of that. Oh, yeah. I got no, I didn't ride on Thanksgiving. I took a break. I'm kind of no. A that's the town I grew up in. The lake, what the lake was called, where. Oh, there it is. Dang. That's good. The Stony Lake, man. Dang, that's a tough one. Good work. Good work. Rope and handle coming your way. So just Free hit up Maurice. Send in your of that email. Free chewed hand. Free chewed. <laughs> Well, that's how you know it's like the actual one that was here. Uh -huh. Like you could just get them from Hyperlite. It's the uh -huh. one that's sitting uh -huh. right here. Uh -huh. Yep. Get your chocolate off, man. Chocolate dough. Pretty chewed. Who won? You lost track of who won already. No, I have to do, won. If I do one for the hat, then I have to... Uh, sign... Later, Scott. Thanks for checking in, man. The new bind my new bindings are um, the 2009 bindings were a lot stiffer. This year they're um, they're a little bit uh, softer, the front to back. Um, definitely, just your your uh, forward lean is um, is a lot less stiff this year. So that's an improvement that I like a lot and. Um, they uh they look a lot better too. Waterboarding is a stupid name. <laughs> I think. I will hey, sign. I will sign it for sure. I never get sick of signing autographs. I think <laughs> it's cool. How many viewers do we have right now? No, someone will say right now. I know Bob Archer. I read Wake World. I check Wake World every day. I'm on the discussion board. Six twenty-seven. I've never tried Ronix boots. Neither have I. Six twenty-seven. That's pretty good. Hey Rick, you better email that to Maurice. I don't think I might remember that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's up? Parks. It's not PB. <laughs> we can test them like everybody else. No. It's probably me. Now there's two Parks. Oh, man. <laughs> the guy lives in Canada over there. Oh, yeah. He lives in Ontario. Dang it. Now I have to ship it to Canada. Oh, I don't know what you're doing that you want. Oh, that was your dude? My dude's in Ontario. Who's here with us? Uh, don't Rusty. tell him. Don't tell him. Why? Because. Is that a trivia question? He's not supposed to be out of the country. <laughs> Send this stuff with your dad. Oh, yeah. My dad's here right now. And he can... Well, we'll just send it tomorrow. We can give it tomorrow. It costs like 10 bucks to ship it. Mm -hmm. We'll ship it tomorrow from here. I ain't got nothing left to give away. Give Sorry. away, Merrick. Next Sorry. time, we'll come back next time. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. <whistles> what if you could be... Give away, Merrick. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, right. If you could be a wakeboarder before your time, who would it be? Um, I'd be Scott Barley. I'd be Parks, I think. Parks had a pretty crazy life. Looks like a lot of fun. Rips on a wakeboard. Yeah, Am I giving away my phone? Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Should we keep going? Um, how many boards we go through? Uh, should we keep know. going for a bit, or what do you think? I don't know.
Yeah, Kyle's dad's driving. Kyle's Kyle's dad's driving back to Canada next week, so we'll just send the stuff with him, and then. Um, Our computer's about to die. And then uh, he'll he'll ship it out. No way. I don't know who's faster on road bikes. Trav's, you know. Trav's the one that's got the thing, the little, the little uh, what do you call it? Like he's tracking how far he went and stuff. Well, hang on. I'll uh, just yeah. call you in a minute here. I'm still online right now. Okay. I uh, I do use a different board for. I'll call you right. I'll call like, you. Uh, I'll call you as soon as we're done. All right. All right. See you. Love you. See you I, later. I do use a different board for rails and one for the wake. Really um, cool. Love you. Rather not thrash. Hey, where's Mary? I use on the water, so I try to. What do you mean? Keep them separate. Thanks, so Carl's dad. dad. Used to BMX. I've seen Russ Bunny Hop 360. He didn't spell Chuck with L right. Gator Boards is still around, and yeah, Rick. Uh, Rick went a different direction, and I honestly can't even tell you the new brand that he's on. Like no disrespect to them, but I just I don't know how to pronounce it, so I don't want to pronounce it wrong. But yeah, Rick's uh, he Rick's, uh on a different brand now. And Fuck. Wish all the best to him. I hope it works out Yay! good. I heard Indian boy. <laughs> Indian boy's tired. Uh, Bob does not own Gator. Eric Ludgert owns Gator. Er, <laughs> Eric Ludgert owns Gator. It's a uh, all owned by him. Hey, Nick, fucking, you gotta keep an eye on these fucking men out there. Eric is a legend. Eric's a good guy. I owe a lot to Eric. He, uh, he's given me a lot, and we'll be done right away. Do a lot of stuff uh, with Gator boards that probably. Just make sure you lock that. Other companies or would have taken a, a long time, and I will lock that guy. I'm jumping in the pool after this. It's hot out on this porch. James, I don't know what they are. I uh, honestly read the the post on the line today, so I'm uh, probably talk to Rick in a day or two and see. I don't know though. Adam, yeah, I'd love to. When, uh, I'd love to meet up with Dan when I come back home. I haven't seen that guy in forever. Different house. Question was asked a little bit earlier. Yeah, I bought a house like two years ago. It has definitely not cooled down in Florida. It's late October, and today my truck said it was 100 degrees outside. It's getting hotter. It was Magic Seats last week. That was courtesy of... Uh, David Katie, Moss, Katie's, Toyota. Katie's boss's son. Uh, it was awesome, and I owe him, owe him big for that one. Uh, they have season tickets where they sit right on the floor, and uh, there was an open seat the last game when they played the Atlanta Hawks. It was awesome. I got to meet Dwight Howard and Vince Carter and sit right there. I had to pull my feet back so they could inbound the ball. It was cool. It's going to be hard to watch a basketball game from any other seats from now on. Wakeboarding, where will wakeboarding be in five years? This, this man is very upset. Um, hopefully it just keeps growing. I mean, it's it's definitely growing year to year. And I think, um, you know, hopefully people, um, you know, stick with it and keep uh, introducing it to, you know, the younger generation, younger kids. And, you know, my biggest goal is just to, you know, to get kids, kids, for the first time on the water, being on a wakeboard, so hopefully that all goes well and the sport will just keep going. Hey, I'm not even mad Vince left Toronto because now he's here in Orlando and I get to go watch him whenever I want, so go Magic. <laughs> uh, 
other this way? Cable parks. Uh, the two closest parks around here are uh, McCormick's and OWC. Uh, I've also been to the Philippines. That cable's real fun. They got big, big rails, and the cable's huge. It's cool over there. If you ever get a chance, it's it's a far way away, but it's fun once you get there. Toughest female? I'd say Dallas. She's pretty tough. She broke her leg in half and still wait for it today. I don't know what McCormick's new rail is. Andrew would know if you have him on Facebook or something. He goes there all the time. I heard they built a new one, but I don't know. What Rib's doing is. good. Rib's doing good. Doing good. Yeah, it is tough to say who's the best right now. There's all kinds of guys blowing up and doing all kinds of different tricks. <laughs> That's a tough question. Yeah, I ride with Benny G. He's an awesome dude. He uh, he lives here in Claremont, where we live. Um, we ride with him a fair, fair bit. He's the original Claremont dude. Yeah, he started He's been out here, here forever. Do you think of a question mark for your stuff? Yeah, it's gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ride dirt bikes with Phil one time. He's uh he just got a bike. He's he's learning for sure. All right, Stoke Meter fans, thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Out. Had a great Thanks time. Thanks everyone for checking in. That was fun. Um be back. See you guys later. Yeah, I got a dog. His name's Logan. We're out. Let's talk this way. Can you look down? Later, dude. See ya. Go down, I think. Go to the bottom. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, so just keep down with it.